branding of the cheats enabled in the Paths of the Dead. In party lineup too um ban very about you i like the, i like the first rank lineup um extra killer Katia I also do have Donalto. Okay. Just in case we have extra undead, we're, we're they'll cover things there. Um Yeah, just save state. Just save. How this works with infinite action. Infinite action means I can do this over and over. This also lets me level up weapon skills. Now, in the more recent remake of the game, um, you actually have your group sparring you can do. do the, they, they eliminate random encounters like this, and you have your group sparring that you can do to level up not just in a low-risk environment to level up your character's classes and, or, or, or to, not classes, because they're, you level up characters individually. You level up your characters that way, but also their weapon skills as well. Um, However, uh, with the way this works with the actions is if I then use a skill after having moved, that will end my turn. Also, if I want to pick something up, I have to end my turn. Again. The spellcasters say, "Go okay. I want to do a double tap on spell." Like where I can like, use an item to get myself some magic points. Well, like as you can see, I'm not going to do much damage there because my uh, level is significantly lower than the targets. So it also gives me enough movement. Fall back to someplace reasonably safe. Oop, that was actually the wrong thing to do. Present uh, the healing suit.
Uh, this was really useful when I, when I started the uh, neutral third chapter and every cell got upset. Um, this made for a really good way for grinding for grinding skill rankings that boost your uh, party member support. The main reason I like, so normally when I do it this way, it's either like I have one or two fully leveled to equal with everyone else party members, and then a couple guys, the, the characters I'm trying to grind up skills for. Um, and then if I'm doing it like this, where like one or two regular party members who are fine, I will, as you see me do for the regular missions, play them out more or less loyalty. Uh, normally, I'm not doing it this time, for one very simple reason. Um, I have enough low level characters over here that I want to protect them from people like this schmuck over here. Fortunately, I also got to send a melee person. Fortunately, even so, he's at worst. Also, the thing I normally like to do is I like to have the lower level party members go out and grab the tarot cards for the stat boost. It's something that's related. All right, so that one's the Empress. That one's Judgment. Both of those are probably actually pretty useful for... Um, Either of our two, like, very little of the characters. Or three. Actually, room fire is a pistol and it doesn't have enough range to actually really be So I can just get so I just can't get that one log, so no, I don't I don't have enough height. Okay, so that one's not good. Let's go back to the Don't mind me. Thank 
That's a really good drop. Everyone's still kind of fine. Um, <clears throat> don't like dragon over there or that other archer. I'll deal with ninja handle the archer. You have enough jump to do that. Get up there. Okay. Oh, that does actually help you. Um. You can stay out of the way, man. there. I don't want you advancing. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.